Hey guys, it's Mathel here once again, and I wanted to take you through my first day of a Delve action. First of all, excuse my voice, it is just a little bit raspy for the long amount of time I streamed, and the uh, bit of sickness that I've contracted. So, I did end up choosing the Guardian Smite character as my first uh, character for the Delve League, which is using the Smite skill with the new revamped Guardian Ascendancy going for some sort of a minion to um, attack based hybrid build. At level 1 you do get Smite and it's respectable for its level though the area is a little small and at level 16 you get Herald of Purity and that's when you really start to become somewhat of a minion build. You have your zombies very early on, about 3 of them, and then you have your 4 Heralds of um, or Sentinels of Purity I believe they are from the Herald and uh, overall you do start to become somewhat of a minion build. For, um, for the most part, you're just running around doing your own killing, and then your minions really come in hot uh, during the, you know, tougher encounters, the boss fights. I also grab myself some Vile or Warchief action, and those things are completely stupid, as you can see through these clips. Uh, it's just a regular Warchief, though you can have two of them when you summon Vile or Warchiefs if you have two up, and they are capable of leap slamming or just slamming the ground with a big powerful attack. When they leap slam, they can clear a lot for you. So they are somewhat similar to Vile Double Strike, except they have a more uh, clear potential, but they do just help your single target a lot. So then at this point of the build, once I've started mapping, it's not really a minion build, it's just a build that has minions, as far as I could uh, tell, because for the most part, I am whirling around a lot, I have some respectable damage, I have some good attack speed, and I clear packs um, well before my minions need to do anything. Thing. So then they come in to usually kill a few stragglers, a few loose mobs, and a lot of the time, just for the boss fights, they do quite a lot of damage on those. But it is basically just a character that's using Smite, probably similar to the Champion if you started that character, though it has some respectable minion damage as well. The way I have built it, and I will show you in detail in just a second, is basically going for some fast attack speed, stacking some flat lightning damage, and then getting as many uh, generic minion nodes that affect both my minions and me, uh, for damage and then just letting um, the lightning damage from smite do its thing It does end up being extremely low on the gear requirement because my weapon for the most part didn't have any damage on it for a long time uh, I was only using two to three links for most of my stuff uh, The minions do a lot of damage smite helps carry a lot of the damage and so does the added lightning gem and the guardian ascendancy itself So it's really low budget to get to this point up to level 70 80 I think my character's 83 at the moment uh, low tier maps. At this point it's very smooth and uh, extremely, well yeah, a really nice starter for these lower tier maps and um, low budget type of character. In Delves it has performed alright as well but um, it's mostly just up to what kind of bullshit the Delve throws at you itself. And to quickly talk about Delves, they have been mostly worth it. Uh, the flare interaction with the darkness is pretty annoying and uh, I'd recommend steering clear of doing too many broken wall type things and flare shenanigans until they figure out just a better system for it because it is pretty dangerous and frustrating. And uh, aside from that, uh, the Delve experience is pretty nice, it is fun, the crawler goes at a good pace, there are lots of monsters, there are some good rewards out there. The Azurite farm is a bit of a slog and uh, it's just mostly the flare and darkness mechanics that I feel need to be fleshed out a little bit more for actual enjoyment of this league. So let's get into what the character looks like at this point and how I've built it. So the character we are looking at here is a level 83 Guardian, which is a Templar to start with called Budget Zoolander, which is what I was supposed to be dressed as to begin with. And it is a Guardian using the reworked Guardian Ascendancy uh, for the minion stuff that has some minion synergy, but also gives you some damage as well. And that is largely uh, revolved around the Purity Herald. Uh, as well as that, I've also grabbed Time of Need because uh, it's between Time of Need and Harmony of Purpose. I decided I'd save that till last. So it is built around the smite um, attack at the moment. It is just a pretty large area uh, attack supported by multi-strike and ancestral core and it gives you a bunch of extra lightning damage uh, as well as your minions. Just a nice lightning aura uh, which is acts similar to a wrath. So it's kind of a hybrid character where you have some good uh, attack of your own and then uh, you rely on some zombies to do your additional single target, some extra tankiness, 
and the Herald of Purity itself to summon a few Sentinels of Purity. Uh, so you end up having 12 minions with uh, four of these guys, six of these guys, uh, the zombies, and as well as that, your Holy Relic, which occasionally uh, heals your shit, and then a Ice Golem that, well, buffs you for the most part. So since it's just built around flat lightning damage, currently the links are Smite, Ancestral Call, early damage with attacks, added lightning, and multi-strike. As far as I can tell, Ancestral Call functions similar to how Molten Strike does, where with Ancestral Call, you will usually attack and then hit two enemies nearby. If there is only one enemy and you are standing far enough away, let's say where this stash is over here and you're attacking, you will have your two additional Ancestral Calls attack the uh, enemy with slams as well. So it should be a single target increase to actually use Ancestral Call just by standing back and letting it um, hit both or all three attacks at once. If you are up close and melee with it, then you'll only be hitting once and it is a single target downgrade. The sixth link at this point is probably Lightning Pen. Uh, there are a few other choices you can go with, but Lightning Pen I think is the right move here. And then because it's just flat lightning damage at the moment, I just have a fast um, Corsair. Can do just about anything, uh, you know, a fast axe, a fast scepter, but a Corsair with a bit of lightning damage is what I've gone with. With an offhand of a Prismatic Eclipse, since you only attack with your main hand, you will have an offhand for this type of build. Uh, that is purely stat stick, and this one gives a bunch of extra attack speed. So the passive tree, as I mentioned, ends up revolving around some good minion nodes. Uh, here, 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 a couple here and over here. And since you have spiritual command, uh, your minion attack speed buffs you as well. And spiritual aid, meaning your minion damage buffs you as well. So all these nodes uh, help your zombies and your um, heralds of or your Sentinels of Purity, but they also help you. So like I said, the character basically zooms around and does its own thing, but then sometimes you will have a bit of extra zombie damage and uh, Herald of Purity, Herald of Purity, uh, Sentinels of Purity damage. Once you get Unwavering Crusade, the Sentinels use Crusade Slam. Uh, it's kind of just an area effect, so they still look like they default attack, but it's a bigger area. And if you let your minions do damage, they definitely do actually clear things and do some respectable damage. So that is something you can see like over here, for example. Uh, these are the Heralds or the Sentinels of Purity. If you have a certain microtransaction, which only two currently work on your uh, sentinels they do have a different effect on them but when you kill things you get some sentinels as a uh, seen here instantly i have four of them and they actually do wreck some serious shit just about one shot rares in this uh, 65 zone at the moment <clears throat> but they can't really keep up unless you have convocation which i'm not currently using uh, so for the most part i do the damage and then all this shit comes in later and helps clean up and the zombies do some good damage as well uh, when you want them to and like i said once again the vile war chiefs you can have two totems up they just bounce around and do some serious damage pretty fun to play around with i do recommend trying that one out too so i'll go over the other links now as well for you guys uh, the zombies i have currently melee physical minion damage and minion speed attached to them. Not too sure if I want minion speed, but it seems to help just a little at the moment. Uh, the Herald of Purity, the more supports you have onto it, the more reservation it's going to take. So currently I only have melee physical attached to them, but you could probably justify getting a few more supports in there and getting some more reservation happening. Uh, otherwise we have a summon Holy Relic and a Wrath over here. I have a Blood Magic, Fortify, Faster Attacks and Whirling Blades. That's just for your movement skill, but you can use Leap Slam if you really want. And then my uh, Ancestral War Chief has added Lightning and early damage with attacks attached to him. So he's got a bit of respectable Lightning damage at the moment. And my Smite Tooltip, for what it's worth, without any buffs, is about 38k if you want to compare it to your own. But, like I said, uh, my gear was absolutely crap throughout the leveling experience. And Smite itself carries you pretty hard, paired with all of your minions. Means that you rarely have to upgrade gear. And, um, and the story mode is uh, pretty much a joke for this type of character. As far as my life sustain is concerned, I have some regen from the passive tree and the guardian ascendancy, just using a, um, a life flask as well. Don't really have any leech except for its serial leech, but that's not doing too much. So it's mostly the regen and the life flask. And then my mana is just sustained through pure regen as well as a white mana flask at the moment. 
haven't been bothered upgrading it. So with enough mana behind and uh, just 27 um, attack there, you can see that it takes a while before I actually go Urm. So I'm just routinely, um, you know, whirling around and it regens by itself. But occasionally I press a mana flask because that's currently how I take care of my mana. And then, of course, you can see everything on my path of building, which I will um, attach a link of to this um, video in the description. The damage, nothing too impressive. That is with Ancestral Call, though. And unlikely we're ever going to have too high a tooltip here. You do have to factor in the zombie damage, the Herald of um, Purity uh, summoned Sentinel's damage too. And uh, like I said, the sick link is probably lightning pen because we do need some sort of penetration in the build. And currently I'm working towards getting a heart of thunder. How this is going to work out in the end game, I have no idea. It's probably going to taper off around the red map level uh, without some much bigger gear upgrades, uh, like Abyssal Jewel stacking, for example. Um, but we'll see how it goes. For now, it has certainly held up to tier 6 maps, is, which is what I've got to at this low stage. Um, I'd recommend it as a starter just to try out uh, New Guardian Ascendancy, the Heralds, and also... Uh, the new smite gem itself. A champion will probably scale a lot better if you just want pure smite action. And I've heard really good things about um, caustic and um, toxic rain so far. If you want to try out one of the Pathfinder builds uh, that I've recommended to go with some poison action, some chaos action, toxic rain apparently is pretty damn good and everything Pathfinder um, poison like Spectral Throw and Blade Flurry is going pretty well too. And of course, Beefton the Chieftain, uh, from what I've heard, has done very nicely in Delve so far for some people too. So that's my first day, uh, first couple of days now wrapped up for the Delve League. Uh, was playing this character, still will be for a bit, but I probably want to try out a Pathfinder um, Toxic Rain next to myself and see how that goes. For now though guys, I hope you enjoy the video, hope you're loving Delve, um, sorry about the voice, it's just a bit gone at the moment. Hope everything's going well, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.